Did you miss your deadline to renew your Medicaid coverage? You can still send your completed annual review form to Healthy Connections Medicaid. You may be assigned to another health plan, but you can ask to come back to First Choice within 60 days of renewed Medicaid eligibility. It's your family. It's your choice. First Choice is the right choice. Renew and choose us. Visit selecthealthofsc.com slash renew to learn more. If you're a last-minute gift shopper, then Instacart is your holiday rescue app this season. No more tracking packages, no more trips to the post office, and no more Christmas gifts arriving in February. Instead, you can just download Instacart to order gifts like beauty, tech, and gourmet goods from local stores and get them delivered in as fast as one hour. Plus, right now, you'll get free delivery on your first three orders. This offer is valid for a limited time. $10 minimum per order. Additional terms apply. Must be 21 plus to purchase alcohol where available. Better buy bird's eye. Bird's eye frosted foods. Bird's eye frosted foods present the Dinah Shore program with Cornelio De Skinner and Roland Young, Robert Emmett Dolan and his orchestra, the Joseph Lilly Singers, our guest, 20th Century Fox's outstanding comedian Phil Silvers, and. Dinah, Dinah. everybody, this is Dinah, welcoming you to another Thursday evening program for Bird's Eye Frosted Foods. Hey, Harry. Yes, Dinah? Uh, Harry, while I go over and talk to Joe Lilly about that number we're going to do with the chorus, would you introduce our guest star for this evening, Marty Woolley? Oh, sure, Thank Dinah. you. I'll be right back. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, at this uh, time, s- s- we... Harry. Re- oh, hello, Bobby. What's on your mind? Well, the uh, producer of our program just got a telegram from Monty Woolley. Huh? And it said that because of his studio schedule, he can't be here. So instead, he's sending over Phil Silvers. Phil Silvers? Yes. That's bad. I, I, I can't tell Dinah this. She'll just... Hey, Bobby, wait a minute. What? I got an idea. What? Listen, who knows what Monty Woolley looks like behind that beard? Nobody. <laughs> True. <laughs> Nobody. I'll bet even Woolley himself has forgotten what he looks like. <laughs> well, well, what are you getting at? Well, now you just watch. Say, Dinah. Yes, Harry? I'm going to... Start... Well, uh, why don't you introduce our guest, Archie? We well, I'm going to do that, oh, okay. but there's something that I wanted to tell you first. What is it? Monty Woolley has shaved off his beard. <laughs> his beard? Yeah. How could he do such a thing? 
How could he do it? Well, I, he took a... Uh, wait a minute. Here he comes now. You just look for yourself. Gee, you're right, Harry. He shaved off his beard. How could he do it? Glad to see you. Glad to see you. <laughs> Hello, Harry. You... You boy, you. Hello, Dinah. You... You girl, you. How could you do it? Oh, it was nothing. They told me you needed me, and here I am, raring to go. Just had a big, thick, juicy steak. How could you do it? Oh, I forced myself. <laughs> and now for some laughs. How could you do it? Oh, it's nothing. I just put on my red nose and baggy pants, and away we go, laughing and screaming. <laughs> a laugh. What are you staring at? How could you do it? A man of your popularity. How could you do it? How could you do it? How could you do it? What did you have for lunch? Parrots? <laughs> You know, all those people loved you just the way you were. How could you do such a thing? Dinah, what did I do? With a face like that, how could you shave off your beard? My beard? Yes, your beard. What beard? Will you tell me what this is all about? Oh, that beautiful beard, that wonderful beard, that gorgeous beard. Beard, beard, beard. Dinah, will you stop beating around the bush? Oh, that's clever. <laughs> Why do I say what they write? Fool. <laughs> Just a moment. I think maybe I better explain this whole thing after all. Dinah, this is not Monty Beard. Uh, Monty Woolley. No, this is Phil Silvers. This isn't Monty Woolley? No. Oh, I feel terrible about this. Well, I feel awful about it, too. You want to know something? I'm beginning to feel a little disappointed myself. <laughs> Oh, now, listen, don't you feel too badly about this, Phil. Honestly, we're really glad to have you here. Yeah, but Monty, what well, do you want to do? Well, I know. Feel, but you, know. you can understand how I feel. I'm, I'm just a little disappointed because Monty Woolley promised to take me over to 20th Century Fox and show me through the studio. Yeah, and, and of course, we knew that only a big star could do that. Foolish boy. <laughs> just happens that I'm a star at that very same studio. I only, really? the other day, I started making a swell picture there called Four Jills and a Jeep. Four Jills and a Jeep? Yes, Dinah, that's the story about those four wonderful girls who went overseas to entertain our boys. Oh. Yeah, well, what part do you play in the... Oh, you see, I play the part of a sergeant who drives the girls around in the Jeep. Oh. You know what a sergeant is. That's no. the G.I. version of a mother-in-law or everybody. <laughs> well, here I am making you hysterical with laughter when you really want to go to the studio. So just come along with me. I can fix everything. <laughs> Phil, I'm really excited about watching them make movies at a studio. Oh, I'm glad you're happy. Oh, Dinah, there's the studio building right over there. Oh, Harry. Look at all the stars' names up in lights. Yeah, look at them. Tyrone Power, George Montgomery, Henry Fonda, Gene Tierney, Geraldine Noonan, B.S. Pulley, Sid Breckner, Malachi Kelp, Rufus. See, Phil, where is your name on the thing there? Keep reading, keep reading. <laughs> oh! Phil's name up there in lights. Harry, there it is. Oh, that's right. Hey, what's that? Oh, look, Phil, your name just went out. How do you like that? Every time they put my name between Betty Grable's and Alice Faye's, it blows a fuse. <laughs> well, never mind, kids. Come on, Ron, and I'll take you into the studio. Just follow me. Careful now. Gee. Gee, it's cold and damp down here. You know something? This is like the Phantom of the Opera. Yeah, if we keep on, we might run into Nelson Eddy. <laughs> and now he says, well, maybe like something and something and everything. Hey, Bill. 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 <laughs> Lost my head for a minute. Watch yourself now. Well, here we are in the studio. I can see that, Bill, but there's one thing I don't understand. Why did we have to come in through that manhole? Oh, you poor girl. I forgot you have open-toed shoes on, huh? <laughs> Phil, after you a star coming in through the manhole, why, I can hardly believe it. Harry, I can hardly believe it, too. But there it was in my contract. <laughs> I'm in through the manhole, it says. Come on, Phil, I'm anxious to meet some of those stars. Yeah, how about those stars? Okay. Oh, kids, you're really in luck. There's Betty Grable standing right over there behind that screen. Where? Which? Oh. Wait a minute. How can you tell who's behind the screen? All you can see underneath is a pair of legs. 
What else do you need with Betty Grable? Her driver's license? <laughs> Where have you been, boy? Look, Phil, two men are walking over toward your dressing room. Oh, yes, that's Daryl Zanuck and my producer. They probably want to congratulate me on my last yes. picture. Yeah, well, they've got a funny way of doing it. They're picking up your dressing room. Look, Phil, they're carrying it over to the edge of the cliff. Hey! They run it over. That's a strange way to act, throwing my dressing room over the cliff. Well, they'll have to give me a very good reason for doing a thing like that. Excuse me, I'll be back in a minute. Okay. Well, be careful. Be careful. Boy, he's mad. Gee. Oh, is he ever telling them off, Dinah? Well, here he comes back. Yeah, well, here he comes. Say, Phil, uh, why did they throw your dressing room over the cliff? Oh, everything's okay. They gave me a good reason. Oh, really? What was the reason? They thought I was in it. <laughs> Next week, uh, Phil, you know, working with you this way reminds me, I dreamed last night that I died. Oh, Harry, why do you say such things? Well, why? I, I did. I, but you were in the dream, too, Phil. It, it was so real. You see, I had just died, and I floated through space until I came to a big gate. And there you were, standing at the entrance, holding your hand out to me. Of all the inhuman things, Harry Von Zell. Glad to see you. Glad to see you. Welcome to Oblivion, Harry. Is this Oblivion? Where else would you feel at home? Where else? Look, just tell me how I get by this gate, please. You'll have to qualify, dear boy. Qualify. What on earth did you do to get in here? Don't tell me you haven't heard me on the Dinah Shore program extolling the merits of those marvelous bird's-eye fruits and vegetables. Why do you fight me like this? I only ask you a civil question. Well, I'm trying to answer. Oh, please. You see, bird's-eye fruits and vegetables are the finest of high-quality foods. They're specially grown fruits and vegetables picked at the peak of their sunny goodness. Then immediately after picking, they're sorted, cleaned, prepared, and quick frozen all within about four hours. Yes, I can see. Hasty, but tasty. That's quick... What did you say? Quick frozen. Oh, no, Harry. Oh, yes, they are. That's the point. Bird's eye quick freezing seals in all that fresh from the farm flavor. The vitamins and minerals captures the goodness of these grand fruits and vegetables right on the spot. Stop it. Stop but, it. But just look at this package of bird's eye quick frozen spinach I brought with me. Every leaf tender, clean, and crisp. No sand, no grit. It's all ready to pop out of the package and cook. With no waste, no work for you, a saving of about 20 minutes preparation time. The grandest spinach ever. I'd, uh, I'd give it to you, but it's the only package of bird's eye quick frozen food I have. Then in that case, go away. Go away. Go away? But I'm dead. Where can I go? Brother, you're in the wrong place. If you don't want that frozen spinach to thaw, take it and go to... What? Heaven. Thank you. Fooled you, you fool. <laughs> girl has a birthday, it takes an FBI man to find out her exact age. But next week, a grand old girl celebrates her 168th birthday, and I'm speaking of the Navy. In our land, where there is no royalty, Navy has been our queen and our mother, caring for all the nation, for the nation from the day it was born. And as all mothers have suffered, so has Navy suffered. Part of her heart lies buried in the waters of Pearl Harbor and under every wave that washes the long road to Berlin and Tokyo. And like every mother, Navy goes on giving more than she asks in return. But we know that on Navy Day, her birthday, she won't mind a few little gifts like another war bond and our resolve to be worthy of the sacrifice she is making for us. So tonight, here's a song in honor of her boys and girls. The very thought of you and I forget to do The little ordinary things That everyone ought to do I'm living in a kind of daydream I'm happy as a king And as it may seem 
like nuggets of gold lying among the rows of corn shocks that resemble little tent cities. The rain that falls is trying hard to become snow. The nights are sharp and the mornings are crisp with the bluest of autumn skies. visit with our favorite married couple, William and Mary, played by Cornelia Otis Skinner and Roland Young. It seems that very early this morning, Mary got the idea that the living room would look much better if it were decorated with some autumn leaves. So nothing would do but that William must get up at 6 a.m. and accompany her to the country to gather some. Will's had a pretty rough day of it, and as the scene opens, we find them on a suburban train returning to New York. So let's go see William and Mary. Mary. Oh, hello, Will. Where have you been? I've been for a walk through seven cars looking for a seat. Didn't you find any? Yes, but unfortunately I was too little and too late. <laughs> oh, poor Willie. Mary, we still have almost an hour before we get to New York, and my feet are killing me. Oh, poor Willie. I wouldn't be poor Willie if you just moved that pile of leaves off the seat beside you and let me sit down. <laughs> but darling, these are those heavenly autumn leaves. Um, I'll be your heavenly husband if I don't sit down. <laughs> oh, sorry, darling. If there isn't another seat on the train, of course. Only be careful of the leaves. After all the trouble I went to to gather them. Mary, stop worrying about those leaves. Do you realize I've been on my feet for over an hour? No, you weren't, dear. I saw you perched on the arm of a seat. Which was infinitely more painful than standing. I have a permanent wave in the wrong place. <laughs> I'm sorry. Come sit down. On those things? I feel like a mother hen. No, 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 no. Just put those branches up there in the rack over your head. Very well. Mm. Careful, 
careful, Will. You're crushing that big red leaf. Oh, dearie, you're breaking off those little branches. Oh, Mary, I... I don't see why we can't spend one day in the country without you bringing back armfuls of massive vegetation. In autumn, you denude our forest of branches, and in spring, it's great bushes of lilac. Oh, you love it. You know you do, William. Yes, but why can't we spend a day in the country admiring the landscape without having to carry it back with us? Oh, what beautiful colors they are. There. Yeah. Uh, they're up there. Now, if I can just rest for a moment. Of course you can, darling. Not so sure. I ate too much lunch. I feel like a blowfish. You know, you look a little like a blowfish. That's grossly unkind. Have you ever seen a blowfish? No. There, you see? Why don't you close your eyes? Try to get a snooze. I want to finish this detective story. Strikes me you need a snooze, too. Uh-uh. I can't sleep sitting up. No snooze for me. No snooze for you. Oh. <laughs> Go to sleep. Oh, Will, look, look, look. What? Where? Look at what? Oh, never mind, dear. We've passed it now. <laughs> Mary, don't ever do a thing like that to me again. I'm sorry, Will. Go back to sleep, dear. You think it's safe? <laughs> yes, but I don't know how much time you'll have. My watch says nearly six. Is it going? <laughs> No. Then he must be right. <sighs> I wish I could sleep sitting up. Why can't you? Oh, because the moment I relax, instead of going to sleep, I go to pieces. What do you mean? I do. I, I disintegrate. My spine caves in and my wrist gives way and I fall on the floor. You don't have to disintegrate if you put your mind to it. How can I put my mind on anything when I'm trying to lose consciousness? You can sort of lock your joints, you know. The way a dozing cab horse does. Are you comparing me to a cab horse? Of course so. I, I just said... I'll go on back to sleep. Uh... Will, look out! You said something, dear? It's all right. I thought one of the branches was going to fall, but it isn't. Sit still. They're all right. I'm terribly relieved to hear it. Uh, they're caught on the emergency rope. That may stop the train. Anyone who stops a train for no reason is liable to arrest. You cannot arrest a branch. Go back to sleep. Seems to me it would have been a better arrangement if you kept the leaves beside you on the seat and put me up in the rack. What do you think you are, a raccoon? That's not funny. Now, try once more to dream a most beautiful... Help! Oh, Lord! Oh, well, Will, hold still. Don't move. You're spoiling the leaves. I'll get them off. Now, just sit still. You can tell me you're still with my nose. They're not hurting you at all. Now, keep quiet. There's the last one. What's Uh, the matter? I'm just sorry Luther Burbank couldn't have met you. He only crossed trees with other trees. You crossed them with your husband. (laughs) Oh, well, at least I have a whole half hour in which to sleep. Mary, that's right, isn't it? Uh Mm-hmm. It's a through train. We're due in New York in Santa half a... Bell, Santa Bell, Change here for New York. Two minutes to catch New York train on next track. Change for New York. Oh, come on. on, Will. We only have two minutes. Hurry. All right, I'm, uh, I'm coming. But you said this was a through train. Well, I, yes, dearie, but, but the, the timetable must have been wrong. Come on, Will. Unless we hurry, we'll never find a seat in the other train. We won't anyhow. <laughs> Ah, uh, here we are. You see, there are lots of seats. Ah, whew. Sit down, Will, and relax. Mary, if you say that once more, I think I shall jump out the window. What? Well, anyway, I... Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Will, what is it? Where are you going? Mary, we forgot your leaves. They're on the other train. Oh, well, don't worry about that, dear. Sit down, it's all right. Huh? You don't care. No, dear. I left them on purpose. You what? Yes, Will. I suddenly realized I was being very silly. After all, we have plenty of leaves in our backyard at home, so why bother with any more? (laughs) Mary, it's at times like this that I know you're divine. Oh, Will, darling, really? Mm Mm-hmm. 
No mere mortal could be so incredible. given her boy the best she's got in tender care, wise advice, and, of course, good home cooking. Now, many of you find your boy in uniform, and you'll be glad to know that when it comes to food, the armed forces are taking up where you left off, giving your boy the best food this country has to offer. I know because, among other fine foods, great, great quantities of bird's eye frosted foods are being served to the boys in camp, delicious farm fresh vegetables. So rest assured, your boy is still getting the best. You bet he is, Dinah. And that's the reason, ladies and gentlemen, that when you go into your grocery store or delicatessen and ask for a specific bird's eye product, you may not always be able to get it. But when that happens, remember why. And get acquainted with another bird's eye fruit, vegetable, fish, poultry, or meat instead. They're all equally delicious. Just be sure when you look in the Frosted Foods case to make your selection that you choose the package with the name bird's eye on it. To make certain of the highest quality in frozen foods, remember, better buy bird's eye. Remember, too, that every bit of food is precious today. A fighting force that keeps our allies and our boys on the march and keeps our home front workers healthy. Don't waste food if you don't want to waste time in finishing the war. <laughs> I guess most every youngster is the same. When he's little, he thinks that out west, the grass is greener, the sunset bigger, and the stars brighter. But he grows up and learns that a cottage in Vermont or an apartment on 52nd Street are no different if the people inside are happy. But still, there's something about the west. I guess maybe it's the fact that the old days linger on in its music. The days of 49, the Overland Trail, boom towns that became ghost towns. The buffalo stampede, a pound of gold dust fed on the jump of a frog, homesteading on the range and the war between sheep men and cattle men, train robberies and gunfights in the sheriff's posse. Yeah, those days are gone. But the West has its own way of keeping the memories alive in songs like this. Never flirt with a gal named Tess down on Texas way, cause if you do, I'm telling you, here's what you'll have to say. Lay that pistol down, babe, lay that pistol down. Pistol pack and mama, lay that pistol down. Say, Dinah, yes, I got no? the strangest gift, some nylon hose today. Yeah? Well, what good are nylon hose to me? I guess I'll throw them away. No! Oh, put that pistol down, babe, lay that bing bang down. Pistol pack in the mama. Put the thing down before it goes up and hurts somebody. <laughs> Pappy had some coupons. He didn't have a car. He used the gas in the fireplace, and now he's way up there. Oh, lay that pistol down, babe. Lay that pistol down. Pistol pack and mama. Lay that pistol down. Cause them old pesky woodpeckers can never chisel in. Lay that pistol down, babe. Lay that pistol down. Pistol pack and mama. Lay that pistol down. Lay that pistol down, babe. Lay that pistol down. Pistol pack and mama. Lay that pistol down. It isn't loaded. Lay that pistol down. Oh, you bird's eye. Lay that pistol down. Joseph Lilly Singers, and thanks to you folks for giving us a tumble tonight. By the way, what are you doing next Thursday night? It's just a suggestion, but if you aren't busy, drop in, because uh, we'll be looking for you. Good night, everybody.
Diner Shore program with Cornelio de Skinner, Roland Young, Robert Emmett Dolan's orchestra, and the Joseph Lilly Singers will be brought to you again next Thursday by Bird's Eye Frosted Foods. Our guest will be RKO's brilliant new comedian, Wally Brown. This is Harry Von Zell saying, better by Bird's Eye. Goodbye until next week. Harry, do women always have the last word? Well, when there's an argument, Dinah, yes. But uh, there's no argument here, is there, Dinah? No, Harry, there isn't. So, uh, I get the last word, don't I, Dinah? Yes, Harry. Okay. <clears throat> this is the Columbia Broadcasting System. It is Ryan here, and I have a question for you. What do you do when you win? Like, are you a fist pumper? A woohooer, a hand clapper, a high fiver. I kind of like the high five, but if you want to hone in on those winning moves, check out Chumba Casino. At chumbacasino.com, choose from hundreds of social casino style games for your chance to redeem serious cash prizes. There are new game releases weekly, plus free daily bonuses. So don't wait. Start having the most fun ever at chumbacasino.com. No purchase necessary. DTW, void, were prohibited by law. See terms and conditions 18 plus. Hello, it is Ryan, and I was on a flight the other day playing one of my favorite social spin slot games on chumbacasino.com. I looked over at the person sitting next to me, and you know what they were doing? They were also playing Chumba Casino. Coincidence? I think not. Everybody's loving having fun with it. Chumba Casino is home to hundreds of casino style games that you can play for free anytime, anywhere, even at 30,000 feet. So sign up now at chumbacasino.com to claim your free welcome bonus. That's chumbacasino.com and live the Chumba life. No purchase necessary. DTW, Void were prohibited by law. See terms and conditions 18 plus.